Oh, so Jacob, have you heard? Heard what? That apparently Jimmy Allen's restaurant train's gone bust. Yes, I have. <laughs> I'm a bitch. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. Do you know what? Karma is so amazing to us most of the yes. time that we can fuck her many holes. Honestly. Oh, Karma. If you haven't heard, yeah, Jamie Oliver's restaurant changes are on the breach of collapse, apparently. And for some reason, I got. Why did I print off BBC News? This is ridiculous. Anyway, uh, if you haven't guessed, it's Jamie Italian restaurants also faced the most of many jobs. And now it's going into a menstruational era. Oh, one, another one of those days where Car Lady Karma herself gets all dressed up. Let's read what it says. Celebrity chef Jamie Oliver has said he is saddened after his restaurant group went into administration, putting up to 1,300 jobs at risk. Oh yeah, I might as well put this quick segment in. I really hope that the people that lose their jobs with the uh, Jamie Oliver restaurant actually find better jobs, like Burger King or McDonald's or something. Cause, or Gordon Ramsay. Or Gordon Ramsay even. I mean, I hope their work experience works to the best mm. of them. I mean, to be honest, that's what Jamie Oliver's restaurant is, a work experience, because we knew he was going to fuck up eventually. And so yeah, karma bitch. And uh, I thought I'd add this segment in into the middle of the video or something. But yeah, I really hope those people get jobs. So before I for, uh, you know forget to add this in, I thought I'd put it into the video now. Uh, so yeah, fuck you, Jamie Oliver. This is what happens. And um, to people that work at Jamie Oliver, please find a better job than this. Fucking walk out. Even just now you found this. Everyone just get away from this restaurant. It's rubbish. Anyway, the group which includes the Jamie Italian chain. Well, what did you not expect? It's a, it's an Italian restaurant. Everyone's doing Italian now. The group which includes the Jamie Italian chain, blah, 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 bollocks. In total, 25 restaurants are infected by the move. What move? <laughs> Is he blaming Brexit again? 23 of which are from the Jamie Italian chain. Well, duh. Um, what do you think would happen in Spring Roses after that fucking disaster you called? Mr. Oliver said, I appreciate how difficult this is for everyone. I bet you do, you cunt. I appreciate how, well, like, let, let me rephrase that. I appreciate how difficult it is for me and my ego. Yeah, because my ego needs to be scratched. <laughs> I would also like to thank all the customers who have enjoyed, enjoyed, that's a fucking laugh, and supported us over the last this fuck knows over the last decade. Decade. It's been a real pleasure serving you. You don't fucking mean that you cunt. Um, he added, <laughs> "We launched Jamie Italian in 2008, and it's fucked now." Anyway, <laughs> I'm just seeing if there's any bullshit he's wrote. Mr. Oliver is known for the naked chef. Yeah, very fucking naked indeed. Jenna Michaels can get her tits out and she would actually be more fucking naked than this. Mm. Um, in December of that year, the chef also put three million of his own money into his restaurant. Oh, it's called business, you cunt. Not a very good one for you, because you fucked. To be successful in the sector, you have to be blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we know what the fuck it is. So, more from the story. Um, Jamie Oliver had to close his bar, Carrillo, or whatever it is. Ah, uh, some telly name. Yeah. Answer. 20th February 2018, he blamed the Brexit, obviously, and he blamed the. <laughs> he keeps blaming Brexit. <laughs> oh, what's that? <laughs> Jamie Oliver teamed up. He teamed up with Tesco, but now he can't do much shit now if he's running out of money. And why I've got this in my fucking thing. This is, this was, this is why I hate the BBC. Look, all of this shit was unnecessary to print. Anyway. Enough of that bullshit. This is what happens, Jamie Oliver, when you fuck with us. You fuck, I mean, this is, this is exactly what happens when you try and bring a stupid sugar tax to the UK that didn't do, didn't you scrape the barrel? And 
many other things. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. And you know, it, you know, Carmen's gonna bite you in the ass, and it just did. So <coughs> to you. Um, we're quite happy with this news. This means that we're not going to see many Jamie Oliver like, signs around now. And uh, you know he wasn't doing very well because his book was actually lit all the other day. <laughs> and it makes you wonder, you know, actually there isn't any wonder because, let's say facts here, people don't like you Jamie Oliver. I mean, I've, seen, I've only seen one that will probably like you. And that was very rare. And, and not and even Lidl not even buying your books properly because there was like still a whole big pack of them and they were like sold for a fiver. So how the hell is this good that's business? That's fine, but that's still expensive even for little. Yeah, it's still expensive. I, I not even one one p will be too expensive. I would expect it for free. I would, I would, yeah, I would expect it like the what's the name? Pound stretchers reduced the clear section. Mm, naked chef, my ass. Not very naked, is he? Especially when he he packed all that salt into the food instead of sugar. But you know who's looking good naked right now? Yeah, Lady Kama. Oh yeah. Um, many more. And judge from looks of things, she's had a couple. Of <laughs> but yeah, that's a sad shame. <laughs> Any else to put forward? Not much. I mean, what did you expect, Oliver, when we realised that your Italian thing went down fucking last year, and now all of a sudden it's getting worse? You know, you shouldn't place an Italian business in the middle of London. There's millions of them. So, you know, you know, there's millions of them. You can't get away from the bastards. That's why you don't want it. And and no one really wants your burger restaurant anymore, do they? Because the way it was in a bad shape, according to Charlie Fleming, honestly. Mm. You know, I mean, if you want to see that video, I recommend to watch it. It's by Charlie Fleming. He's, he's put in food hell and for good reason. I mean, if it has a fuck all flavour or no flavour at all, and not to mention the not to mention the restaurant itself has some had some bit of a hygiene problem. Yeah, and yeah, the um, apparently the air conditioning was falling all apart. And there was cold over the ceiling and all sorts of bullshit going on. And this is what happens when your restaurant is in bad shape. So yeah, I think karma tonight would be nice to fuck. Yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, what do you think to this? Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.